What the fuck? Is this like instant quick scope? I I what? I want to say that that was just skill right there, but I'm pretty sure everything just goes straight. Pretty sure every single one of my bullets goes straight. That wasn't skill at all. <laughs> Not only is it like an instant scope in, but it's like an instant scope out. What the fuck? This is skill. This is skill. I promise. I promise, dude. I promise I'm not cheating. What just happened to his body? I mean, if I'm gonna hit a nice trick shot, it's gonna be in this lobby. Even with the bullet going straight, I don't even think I'm gonna be able to hit somebody. Because I'm gonna be honest, I think the trick shots that I've hit before are... They weren't even really on target. I just got really lucky that I overspun and my bullet just so happened to go that way. Enemy UAV <laughs> and I still can hit a shot. Absolutely amazing. Got a 40 second kill cam, so we have time. Uh, if you really, really, really like me, you'll fucking your mic and say face to me, daddy. I mean, I like you, but. This <laughs> <laughs> corpse just fall from the sky. It's like a, a, a quicker scope. I can't even hit a trick shot in that lobby. I, I might as well just leave then. That's just disrespectful. I would say about two weeks ago, I was watching Markiplier's charity live stream and dude, this fucking, this shirt is so fucking comfy. Like, I don't even feel like I'm wearing this. I feel like I'm naked. But I would probably expect nothing less from Markiplier. That is the most handsome man on the planet. Like, if I couldn't have Morgan Freeman tell me my entire life story on my deathbed, I would like Markiplier to do it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second, wait, three hit markers? What the fuck is with all of this? You have to be fucking kidding. I'm in a lobby filled with drug addicts! I would give up my left leg just so he could read me a story every single night in my bed. For some reason, the way his body fell over those crates reminded me of this show that I watched when I was younger. It was a show called MXC, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. It's basically like a Japanese show, but I guess Americans dubbed over it? I, I don't understand exactly where it came from. It was like an extreme obstacle course, like Ninja Warrior, but way more funny. Way more fucking funny. <laughs> like when people got introduced, they had like this serious intro and everything, but then they would have like random ass people that would walk up onto like the start of the stage and then be like, I like anal. They would say the most random shit, and I thought it was the funniest fucking show in the world. <laughs> like, people wiped out in the hardest- What the fuck? That guy was giving birth to an M16. I used to stay up every single night for MXC. I actually wanted to go on that show just to try it. But now, thinking back on it, I don't, I don't want to fucking go to it at all. Number one, those obstacle courses are actually impossible. Like, almost everybody that did it failed, and every single way that they wiped out, they would, like, break their necks or, like, snap their femurs and shit. It was amazing. It was- That was great. Ragdoll in real life. I fucking love it.